Hello crochet friends, welcome back. Working on our project for our cast iron pan handle holder. And we are on round three. We are going to start out, let's see, we have 14 stitches on our work. We're gonna have 18 by the time we're done. So we're gonna start out with a increase in our first stitch and then five single crochets in the next five stitches. So, and then we'll repeat that and then we will increase um, until we're done. So let's see how we can do with this. First stitch, we're gonna do that increase again. So yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. So there's one single crochet. Go back in that same stitch for the increase. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. So two single crochets in one stitch. Now we need five single crochets in the next five stitches. So here's one single crochet right two single crochets go into the next there's three there's your third single crochet go in the next here's four one more makes five okay so that's the first section now we want to repeat that so that means that our next stitch is our increase stitch so enter give it one single crochet Go back into that same stitch for the increase and give it another single crochet. Okay, everybody with me? Nice and easy, right? All single crochets. This is going to be the five singles. So here's one single crochet. Go into the next two single crochet. Go into the next three single crochet. Next four and then five. So now we have 14 stitches that we just did, right? We just did 14 by repeating those. This will be 15 and 16, and the next one 17 and 18. So this is an increase. This is one single crochet. Go back into that same stitch for two single crochet. All right, go to the next one. One single crochet, and then two for the increase. All right. We have 18 stitches on our work now. You can take out your marker if you'd like. I'm gonna pull it out just so you can see what we've got so far. We have 18 stitches. It does look like a, a little bowl or something, I don't know. <laughs> um, but it looks right. This is the way it should look. If you want to um, sew in this tail, you can do that. I would do it fairly soon because once we get to the bulk section, it's a little challenging to get inside of it because it, it becomes a tube. So it's, it's harder to turn it inside out. So if you wanna knot that off and weave it in, feel free, do it anytime now, okay? Um, so that is the end of round three. We have 18 stitches and we'll meet up next time for rounds four and five. See you then. Thank you and have a joyful day.